Today's crime story is about the first Iranian rapist and serial killer of the 20th century. His name is Ali Askar Borujidi, also known as Askar Ikatil, Askar the murderer. He was born in 1893. He moved to Iraq during his childhood with his family. From his childhood days, he started assaulting, raping, and later murdering adolescent boys in Baghdad when he was just 14 years old. He escaped back to Iran, in 1933. In Iran he continued his murders. Askar Katel was convicted for rape and murder of 33 young adults, 8 in Tehran and the rest in Baghdad. Ali Askar Borujidi, the first Iranian serial killer, was born in 1893 in Borujid, the western Iran. He had a history of theft, murder and defamation. His grandfather Zalfali was abandoned from robbed caravans in the cities of Borujerd, Malar, and Arak, sometimes murdering the caravan's owners. The serial killer's father, Ali Mirza, was also a known as bandit, who had killed more than 40 pedestrians with his bare hands. His infamy persuaded him to immigrate to Baghdad with his wife and children. On the way to Mashhad, Mirza was killed by the Persian Cossacks Brigade in Iran, and later his wife went with the children in Baghdad. Katil Askar had heard from his mother, that his father was a soldier and killed in one of the wars. The family soon traveled to Iraq on the pretext of visiting the Karbala pilgrimage, deciding to reside in Baghdad afterwards. The Iran ant serial killer, who sold snacks to children and adolescents, made friends with his clients and promised to give them treats, but instead harassed and raped them. For the first time at the age of 14, due to the persecution of children in Baghdad, he was arrested and imprisoned. But due to his young age he wasn't considered a serious risk, and was released with the consent of the children's parents. He then returned to selling nuts and snacks. He was again sentenced to nine years in prison, after it was indicated that he had abused five children in Baghdad. From the age of 27 years, he was ordered to stay away from the police and the court in order to stay away from his raptures. As a result, he killed 25 children and adolescents in Iraq. He himself confessed that he killed the last child in Iraq. He fled quickly to Iran and settled there permanently. The serial killer and rapist did not go back to his hometown of Borujerd. Instead, he settled in Tehran's Reza Khan Caravanserai, where he was particularly busy with athletics. In this way, he also contacted children and adolescents. His prey was mostly teenagers who had come to Tehran to find work. He killed eight people within a short period and abandoned their bodies in the southern part of the city. The discovery of the mutilated bodies of these adolescents in the furnaces and aqueducts near the Minudasht village became a source of fear in Tehran. In January 1933, a teenager who was lost in the Kalekroba village south of Tehran found a boy's corpse. Agents from the Office of Provincial Affairs discovered that with the presence of the child's body and two other corpses, that all were under 20 years of age and were killed in the past two weeks. In the space of less than two months, another young man's skull was found at Layla Park, but his body was not located. Five days later, an old man's headless body was discovered in the Aminabad district of Dalatabad. These discoveries created a climate of fear, and the Iranian authorities ordered to solve case soon. Sardar Timakhan, an experienced inspector from Tehran, was ordered to investigate the serial murders in southern Tehran. The serial killer was selling a stack of porterage in the same area. The police started to investigate every body and finally trapped the serial killer, by noticing his bloody clothes and a blood knife. He claimed to have bought the clothes from the market near the Shab de Lazim shrine, and that the rest were his tools. However, the authorities were not convinced by his response, and that he was arrested.
The agents then visited Askar's residence in Reza Khan Caravanserai, and asked the neighbors, who said that the night before, the boy whom Askar introduced as his brother, slept in his room. They identified the clothes worn as belonging to the same teenager. After a series of interrogations, Ali Askar admitted that the clothes were related to the adolescent, also named Ali, whom Askar employed to work alongside him. But after the boy ran away, Askar found him and proceeded to rape and murder him. Eventually, Askar confessed to raping and murdering eight children in Iran and 25 in Iraq. He was accused of raping and murdering a dozen children and adolescents. Finally, the court condemned him to nine years imprisonment and subsequently sentencing him to death. Eventually, he was executed in Tup Khan in front of the country's national order system, in 1934. For more crime investigation reports and serial killers documentaries don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching this video.